Hi kids, it's Miss Sally and Ricky. We were on vacation last week, but we were reminded that we have to get home and make a new one for you this week. And so we decided to do it in the garden. The verse I want to tell you about today reads like this. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. We have to be rooted in our faith, rooted like my hibiscus flowers. These flowers are beautiful and I love to share them with other people but they are so hard to dig up. Sometimes it's easier to just give up some of these dried flower pods to, the, to people. They have seeds inside them. It's really hard to dig them up and sometimes I have to because they, they grow in the wrong places. They're really, they really have strong roots and we want to have really strong roots in our faith. Now the flowers get that with, you know, water and sunshine and good soil. That's how they get really good roots. But how do we get really good roots in our faith? Well, you know the answer to that. You're already thinking, I know Miss Sally, read my Bible and my Bible story books and pray and say my grace and all those wonderful things. But did you also remember the one about memorizing the verses of the Bible? I like to memorize scripture because, Bible verses, because then I don't have to carry a Bible or check my phone Bible all the time because they're already in my head, they're in my heart. And I, I have them there with me all the time. One of my favorite verse, in fact, my very favorite verse ever, is what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? Sorry, Ricky. That's my favorite verse and that's how I try to live my life every day. I also have one that I've memorized that is my morning prayer. And it's, it goes like this, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Every day I want God to start over on my heart. I know I do bad things some days, and today is a new day, and I get to start over again with a nice clean heart. Because the Lord forgives me, and He's giving me it help to get through the next day. So I like to say every morning, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. That's a good verse to learn. We're in, in September, we're going to start learning the, Lord, or the 23rd Psalm. And so that's always a good, has great verses to memorize, like the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I like this one that we're doing today. This one hangs by my desk. And I use it as a prayer sometimes. And in fact, I use it as a prayer that I pray for you kids. I also find verses that I like. And thank you, Ricky. We, I have all these cards with verses on them. In fact, I have smaller ones. I have like a hundred with verses and poems and prayers that I learned that I trying to memorize over the years. Maybe you can color a picture, draw if you're if you like to draw, you could draw a picture with a favorite verse on it. This one says there is one body and spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. I hope you will find ways to make your roots in your faith stronger just like this flower these flowers can we pray about that father god we thank you for the beautiful flowers and trees and shrubs around us every day here and we thank you for all the blessings and and the roots and faith that you have given us help us to find our own verse that we can remember 
and think of often to grow our love for you. And all God's children said, Amen. Kids, go find a verse that means something to you that will help you through every day because we want to do, we want our roots in our faith to grow and grow and grow. And so that's why it's so important to have Bible verses on your heart. You have a good week. Bye.